And what a beautiful day. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman 408. If you haven't already, make sure you start leaving some comments. We need more comments in these videos. The, uh, the new Maverick video got tons of comments and it did pretty well. So let's get those comments going. Anyways, we're gonna take her for a rip today. But first, I'm gonna swing by my favorite store, Old Princess Auto, grab a few things, maybe a new windshield wipe, a new windshield. I'm glad I didn't fix this because it actually cracked again up top over there and uh, once over there. So I would have been three windows deep by now. So we'll fix her eventually. All right, let's go do it. Brake cleaner, definitely need this. Three bucks, perfect. What else? Mm. Get some side cutters. Where are they? Right here. Or cutting pliers. I call them side cutters. Should we grab this for the new Maverick? Hang around the back? Sure. Also key, bungee cords. I love these things. Super strong too. Of course, we gotta get a dog toy for Nala. Ooh, shake it to light up. There he goes. And some pads. We're working on everything. All right, let's roll. Thank you, princess. All right, let's go farm and have some fun. Ooh, A-Rock. That's the same coyote from the other day. Pretty beat up looking, geez, holy. Where'd you go, buddy? He gone. There he is again. <laughs> oh, what a little character. Go for a run. Was the one that was sleeping by the dodge. I don't know. You never see them down here. You hear them at night, but yeah, I never see them down here. I've seen one once when I was uh, bulldozing. Yeah, well, all right, let's head up to those. Oh, look at there. Both gates work again. One side was broken for like two months. Just a gorgeous day at the farm here. Oh, my god. Er, my goodness, how are you guys doing? You fire a few comments off yet? Oh, look, the picnic table gave up on life. This thing was a piece of crap. She was uh, pretty flimsy, but I did sit on it once in a while while we were pressure washing stuff. Anyways, we had the air show in London the past weekend. I was supposed to be there. They were going to give me a media pass, but then uh, I didn't hear from them until last minute, so we decided to go on that ATV trip. But... I did get some footage from there. I had someone take some footage, so I'm gonna show you that right now. So enjoy the footage. And then uh, I'm gonna show you the tree that got hit by lightning. It was a birch tree and it peeled all the bark off. So enjoy the air show footage. And then let's check out this tree. Boom. <laughs> So the house is just on the other side of those trees and uh, we had a storm a few weeks ago. My dad said he was in the kitchen. Uh, I think he said the window was open and he said the lightning was so freaking loud that uh, his ears were ringing for two days. So I'd say, I don't know, we're 500 feet away. And this is what the normal tree looks like. And then here's its older brother over here. So it definitely got struck by lightning. A bunch of the leaves have turned yellow. Um, you can see the, the peeling up there. 
and then all the way down. Have any of you guys seen this before? And yeah, it's split like the whole tree. Like this, this outer shell is, you know, it's pretty thick. It's thick as my thumb there. And yeah, I've never seen that before. And like this bark is, like even the bark's pretty thick. And yeah, peeled it right back. Absolutely incredible. Just kind of walk around and show you guys. Yeah, let me know in the comments, have you seen this before? Because I definitely have never seen this before. And I'm out in nature quite a little bit, you know. I've, seen, I've looked at a lot of few trees in my day. <laughs> uh, isn't that absolutely wild? Like, look at that. Massive. Imagine if someone's name was signed underneath. That'd be pretty cool. Anyways, I gotta fix the lawnmower real quick. Hope you enjoyed that air show footage. And then uh, I'm thinking we'll take the Maverick out for a quick spin. Then I gotta get out of here. So, one last look at that tree. The old lawnmower. This Kubota is true as well. Usually I help cut lawn up the uh, farm here, but I've been so busy with the summer and getting ready for this wedding. So my dad's been helping out. But yeah, so in the summer we broke this middle one over here. And what happens is these two washers, they're cupped washers. But it's kind of a safety so you don't smash everything if you do hit something. And over time they do wear out, they flatten out. So it looks like uh, that's what happened to these as well. So. But when I fixed the middle one, I got four extra washers. So I guess I'm fixing these today. Let's do it. So here's what I mean by cupped washers. These are 11 bucks each from Kubota. So I got them on backwards, but basically how you see they're a little bit cupped. So obviously they go this way and then they sit flat together. And then these are brand new ones. And uh, obviously they're on opposite, but you can see the gap there. So I got my little atomic half inch impact here. Let's go fix it. Shaboom. Done. Easy enough. All right, let's roll. The garage is getting full again. I'm just dealing with insurance and registration and all that. <clears throat> but this machine, oh my God. I don't know if it's hard to tell on video, but it sits so much better than my last one. I'm definitely excited for the... Uh, next couple of years with this bad boy so hope you guys are too even just the front of it looks just so much better and just beefer too like these box front arms the suspension i really want to turn these reservoirs around but i gotta figure out how to do it because there is a wire for the smart shocks that go into the suspension so obviously i don't want to mess that up but it looks so much better when the reservoirs pop out here and can't wait to get these studded tires on do some winter ripping and the old assassinators should we go for a rip? I just gotta do one thing real quick. I gotta take the back tires off because there is like a mud clearing thing that comes on the Can-Am and it's garbage. It takes off the whole inside of your coating because all the rocks get caught in there. So let's jack her up and uh, rip it off. Also, this is the skid of stuff that Super ATV has sent for the Maverick. Uh, there is some more stuff coming, but this is the first skid. Uh, Super ATV and Oxbeam. So Oxbeam sent some whips and a light bar, I believe. And then Super ATV sent a windshield, um, some front fender guards, some rear radius arm or trailing arm guards, uh, some bags. I'd have to look up what they all sent. Uh, front flip up windshield, the lower doors. So everything's in there. I didn't really want to take it apart because I'm not doing the build. My buddy is, so I figured I'd just leave it and then give it to him like that. But uh, all right, let's rip the back tires off. Now I'm wondering if this is even going to reach. Oh, Super ATV also sent boxed rear arms as well. There's so much freaking travel on this thing. I think I put it in park. I can't remember. Hopefully. Look how my exhaust is. I got... Three fingers on this side, and I can only fit one finger on that side. Oh yeah, we can get her off the ground. Crazy how much travel is there is though. Whoop! My log popped off. Whoops. Oh yeah, I did put it in park. I guess she's rolled a little. Oh well, as long as it's off the ground. And with the rear shocks fully extended, 
Let's see how high we got here. Oh, 50, 57 inches, 57 and a half. So about five feet. <laughs> That's how, how much travel we have off the back. Isn't that wild? Those tires are barely off the ground. All right, I'll show you this uh, cleaning thing in here. If they still, oh yeah, they do have it on there. Yeah, see, there it is right there. So we're just gonna take that and throw it in the fucking garbage. Done. So these are what I call the rim cleaners, the rim scratchers. So they have that little metal piece in the middle and it just messes the coating. On the inside of your rim, I put those nice rims on it when I first got the last machine and went to the track. Within an hour, all the coating was gone. So we're going to try to avoid that on this one. So I took them off. Four bolts. All right. We got a freshy drone. We're going to put that in the sky, take this for a rip, and get out of here. Maverick, good to go. So I just got uh, another freshy Scadio 2 Plus. I've been flying the 2 Plus for a while now. Well, I flew the 2 for a while now, and then the upgraded two plus with the antennas extended range and uh i decided to play chicken with a transport truck with my last one so it ripped the camera off but we got it sent out got a freshy scent so i'm going to show you guys there is a discount code below if you want one this thing is absolutely amazing especially in follow mode you just hook up the beacon here put it in your pocket boom it follows you wherever you need to go on your dirt bike maverick car walking running hiking whatever you're into so Let's put the bird in the sky and get some footy. So the best part about this drone is auto landing too. It just looks for the logo on the case and it'll land by itself no matter how windy it is. It's quite breezy right now. And yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a minute with the wind, but it's all good. Boom. Yeah, if it gets a breeze last second there, obviously it's got to autocorrect itself, but I've never missed the case so far. Sorry for the dirty ass case, but uh, yeah, the Skydio 2 Plus, check her out. If you want to get some amazing shots or amazing shots for yourself. All right, let's go rip this Maverick. Quick run, then I gotta go. So I wasn't really planning on filming a video today, and then I was like, you know what? I'm done, done doing my stuff early. Sorry, right, need two hands for the seat belt. And yeah, I was done doing my stuff early. Well, not really, I was done at 2 p.m., but I'm like, I can squeeze in a quick video. And uh, my dad was supposed to give me a hand, but he blew up his Kia again. Someone hit a deer beside him, and then all the guts splattered all over his car. And then something went wrong underneath because of it. I'm like, you need a dash cam. That would have been a wicked video. But yes, these uh, Can-Am retractable straps are a A1, because before, when those five point harnesses were on, you couldn't move at all, especially if you have your helmet on. You're like, ah, what's behind me? Now I can lean forward. And then obviously you pull it hard, then it doesn't let you move. So let's go for a quick one. I still got to figure out all these controls. I haven't even gone through them yet. Performance key. Oh, and this new P clutch. This new P clutch is so smooth when it takes off of my last machine. Boom, your head would rock back in this thing. Like it's like a car, there's no jolt at all. Incredible. Incredible. Let's see if we can completely destroy this thing. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh yeah. Everything's still so fresh in this thing. It's suspension, even just sliding the seat forward back. Dirty, but I'm 
turn jump would be fine. A bit of sand never hurt. You only need one hand to jump, right? She bucked forward on me. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but she definitely bounced pretty far forward. I got her in comfort mode, nice and soft. Let's put her in sport. Sport plus. Try not to flip forward this time. Oh, that, was, that was something else. I was like, uh oh. Imagine if I wreck flip this thing, completely rode it off before I even really get to drive it. There's only three kilometers on it. I feel like definitely you gotta be in stiff mode to jump it. That soft mode really bounced hard. Round three. Sport plus. Two wheel drive. Oh yeah, that definitely jumped way better. Sport plus, way to go. Oh, I just saw my burnout marks too. I was probably doing 60, 70 kilometers an hour and I floored it and just laid field rubber off the whole thing. I can't wait to figure out all the settings. Get this thing fully modded out, get the flip up windshield in here. She's gonna be a time. I think we will wrap this one up for now though. Thank you guys for watching. As always, you're all freaking amazing. Make sure you leave lots of comments. Check out the links below. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.